Good morning, my name is Carrie. I'm Janine. And we are the Idea Ladies from the Passionate Home here in Langley. How are you? Um, did I say you're Janine? I did. Well, I thought I said, I'm Janine. I'm like, what, what just happened there? Uh, <laughs> Neve is here with us behind the camera. And if you are there, please say good morning so that we know you are there. And maybe where you're from? What's the weather like where you are? Today it's kind of overcast here. Um, it's nice that there's no snow. Right? Yeah. And yeah. no rain. And it might be sunny with like glimpses of sun all week. Like as far as the forecast can see. Oh my Everyone gosh. run out and get your Please. vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are here every Friday morning at 9.30 to share ideas on how to create a beautiful life and hopefully to inspire you to try something new. And last week we asked, we did a little... Um, a little poll. A little poll. What would you like to see us do today? And the... Um, Everyone wanted to know more about Andy Sloan's pearlescent glaze. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Does that sound good? Do we have any friends with us? We do have any friends with us this morning. Excellent. Yay. So even if you're watching this later and not live, if you have any questions on pearlescent glaze or anything, uh, just type them in and we will read them later. Mm -hmm. um, so Annie Sloan has a product called pearlescent glaze that she created um, to celebrate her 30th year in business. Um, as you know, she is a creator of chalk paint and many other um, products, but she created the glaze to celebrate 30 years, so that was about two years ago Yeah, now? it was a couple years ago now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's often something, it's not as popular as chalk paint. It's kind of like an add-on, and so, and some people might not even know what to do with it or, right. or how to use it. Um, we had a customer, Christine I think was her name, and she took a mirror and glued all these seashells on it then oh, painted, yeah. did you see this? Mm -hmm. Painted it old white and then covered it with this glaze and it looked incredible. Yeah. So it adds sparkly. a little bit of a shimmer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how would you say? Sparkly, shimmery. Yeah. Shimmery, yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna show you a couple of different things on how to use a pearlescent glaze. We're going to uh, show you how you can put it onto chalk paint, how you could mix it with chalk paint, how you can do a bone inlay effect. Right. Um, yeah, is that? Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, where should we start? Let's just dive in. Let's okay. Open up that can. All right, let's open up the can. So, first of all, this is a pearlescent glaze. This is how it comes. Do you know how much it is? $25. Okay, Whew. $25. <laughs> um, and the first thing you want to do is open it. So, I have a little sample pot here, which I'm going to open. And Annie's uh, first advice is to mix it well to get all the beautiful. Um, and get the pearl particles pearl are mixed all through. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So let me give this a mix. Neve, why don't you come in and just so people can see how beautiful this pearl essence is. Yeah, shimmery and gorgeous. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to focus it a yeah. little bit better. Okay. Nice. So I'm going to stir this to get all the good stuff. Okay. Well, that's the same with chalk paint too. you got to stir it to yes, get the good stir. stuff going. So on this board, I'm going to show you how to do a bone inlay. So we painted it in the Athenian black first, two coats. I've got my stencil painted on, or taped on here, sorry. So I wanted to show you what it looks like over old white, as well as just using the glaze on the paint. So we will get that going in a second here. Okay. So what we were saying, a bone inlay, I don't know, if, actually, it's in Annie's book. So in, in The mm -hmm. Colorist, which is a magazine she puts out quarterly, um, there are, is a whole instruction here on how to do the bone inlay. Now, this to me is stunning. Right? Stunning. It's gorgeous. And she does such a great job of stepping you through how to do it. Um, here they're using chalk to create the design. We're going to kind of... Yeah, we're going to use the stencil. stencil. <laughs> they just used a detail brush and yeah. outlined and then filled it in. So this is what I love. Well, there's lots of things about the glaze as we were preparing for today's video that we're learning new. Right. Um, There's so, lots of ways to apply it as well. Exactly. So you need yeah. glaze and another good thing to have are Annie's detailed brushes mm -hmm. for especially for what Janine's going to show us today. Yeah. Um, and it can also be applied with just a flat brush as well. You can um, use a roller if you want less brush marks, right? Because yeah. the brush is really going to highlight the brush marks. So yes. if you use a roller, that'll take them away a little bit, or you can pounce with a stencil brush as well. But a lot of times I think the brush, the strokes highlight, it, it, like right? catch more and add yeah. more luminescence, I guess. And I love a painterly look, right? Yeah. yeah. Has anybody uh, watching used the glaze before? If you have, let us know, please, and, and what your experience was and maybe how you used it. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna dip. 
Okay, so you did. You are doing the bone inlay. Yeah, I'm gonna just spread a little bit on here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna mix it, get it nicely on my brush, right? Yeah. You, go no, you time. go ahead. I'm. I'm gonna okay. watch you because so this will be interesting because I just painted this white. So I'm just gonna dab on top. Ooh, look how pretty that is already. Oh, it really is. So right? the the glaze is like your fine. It's like your wax or your lacquer. You know, like yeah. it's your final thing. Mm -hmm. um, though you can lacquer again on top of this if you wanted a stronger finish, right? Yeah. Or I could now finish this with my wax, right? So because I don't have the chalk paint sealed yet. Ah. Now correct. after we're done this and it's dry, yeah. then you can go through and just wax, wax the whole it, thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the wax will just come off of the glaze area, but right. but absorb into the chalk paint. Yeah. yeah. So the glaze is enough to just seal that spot. So what Janine's doing is using one of Annie's stencils, but of course, if you're really great at freehanding, <laughs> yeah. in the book it showed that you can do your outlines with chalk and then paint it in, which Janine probably could have done since you're I know, you're like, oh, can you just freehand something up? But, well, not in the 20 minutes, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, I'm really excited to see how this goes. I know, I'm excited. I, so hopefully my stencil's okay. I, you know, I'm going really quick, so, you know, I think yeah, I'm a little slower. Yeah, and come from above, maybe. Yeah. Um, I was watching a couple videos of other people doing stenciling, and they were using a sponge applicator. Right. Which you could use yeah, as well, totally right? Yeah, you could. Okay, so now you can see how that looks. And then okay. let's see, just on... The paint. Oh, so pretty. So you can definitely tell the difference there. Can you need? Yeah. Mm hmm. So it's definitely two different kind of looks. The other thing is, once you've done this one coat yeah. of the glaze, you could do a second coat to make it darker. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested to see how this is going to look. Oh, you'd have to be so patient if you're doing a big piece, hey? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're doing a small, like lots of people are at home doing DIY crafts you know, adding, making art, and that this right. is kind of a good um, addition to your chalk paint supplies. Yeah. So that might be why they're freehanding too, because to put the stencil exactly the same spot later to do a second coat mm. would be harder. Mm -hmm. So you could even do your first coat like this and then just fill in the second coat. Did somebody coat. have a question, sorry, Neve? No. Oh, no, okay. Just agreeing, that's a, that's a good point. It is yeah. mm -hmm. to line it up yeah. a few times, right? Well, Neve, you're a bit of an artist yourself, so. Yeah. See that piece you just did? Oh my gosh. Yes. So pretty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're following us on social media, everybody who's listening. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they are, because they found the video. That's true. All right. So how much do we want to keep going? Keep going. Okay, keep well, going. why don't you keep going, and okay. I'll show something here. So you can use the um, glaze on its own, the way, um, uh, well actually I'm gonna show you here. Here is a board that we have pre-painted with three of Annie's colors. On the bottom half is just the chalk paint, no wax, no lacquer. And we're going to put the glaze on it so you can see what happens to that. So maybe that's where I'll start. The top half of the sample has been lacquered so you can see the difference of what happens. So. Well, this is really thick, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it says lacquer should be used, or the not lacquer, the glaze should be used within a year. Oh. Um, did you know that? I actually didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. So, you know what? Can you see? I want everyone to see. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Perfect. Is this a good angle? Yeah. So, look at how beautiful that is. That's so pretty. So that's just out of the can onto a color, and it gets a little bit of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sorry, it's, really it's almost like a silver. <laughs> Stunning. Okay, um, and now I'm going to show you what happens with the white. Now, I think this is where, like, it reminds me of a seashell or something. No. Yeah, Can you see that, yeah, Neve? Can everybody gorgeous. see that? Yeah? Okay. So, now I'm going to show you on the Oxford Navy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So it really is, you don't, you wouldn't have to, let's say you did a dresser in Oxford Navy, you don't have to glaze the whole thing, maybe you just glaze in the detailed areas. Could you right. like dry brush glaze it and just pick up on like... Oh yeah, Yeah, you sure. could. Totally. Look at that. So pretty. Yeah. 
can you see all the, like, I don't know how, if you can see or. The white is kind of tricky, but yeah. it's. Yeah, it is. Okay, so the top half here now, so that is glazed right on top of the chalk paint. Now the top section here has been lacquered already with Annie's gloss lacquer. And I think um, you can put the glaze on top of that as well. Oh, wow, it's much smoother. It's like, um, oh, yeah. because it it's, on so yeah, much easier. this mm -hmm. is absorbing it and it's sitting on top of the glaze here. So let's just see the, see the, oh, wow. Candace says good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning is this a good way to show Actually, Neve? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. We miss you, Candace. <laughs> okay, here we go. It on. looks really pretty on the old white with the lacquer. Yeah. And then here it is on the Oxford Navy. And then again, you could do two coats, right? If you wanted mm -hmm. to make it brighter. So the dry time on this is about two hours, depending yes, you know, on Yes, correct, on your temperature. Just like yeah. chalk paint, depends on the temperature. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, if you're in the neighborhood, you should come by today and see this. This is stunning. It looks pearl, like a, it looks pearlescent. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, you nailed it! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, it looks kind of like silver, like um, metallic. Right? Yeah, right? It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can everyone see that? Can you guys see it? And that's really how easy that is to use it right out of the can. So let's, let's pop in and see how Janine is doing with her project. <laughs> So I was curious what would happen if I just went over some spots right away, and it seems okay. I think because I'm putting it on so thin, it is drying a little bit before I go back on. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see this. I, I'm a little do nervous. It, do it, do it. a little nervous. Should we pull it off? Yeah. All right. Brush and water. So you're gonna wanna wash your brushes right, right away. Right away, yeah. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no pressure. Get my mic. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can definitely tell the difference with the old white underneath first, right? It's definitely a crisper look. Uh -huh. This is very soft. So. And what was this? Two. The same as this? Yeah. Yeah, I probably just, I, I went over some of these spots a second time. Second time? Mm -hmm. And I like the highs and lows here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting when you really have Really interesting. Around. Yeah, you can uh -huh. see that you're quite <laughs> fast on the, on the glaze <laughs> not there. Not so super not crisp. Not super crisp. Mm -hmm. But it really, can you like, can you see how it's glittery at all, yeah. um, Neve and everybody? That little glaze? Nice. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's just soft and pretty and shimmery. And shimmery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Um, okay, so what do you guys think of that? Mm -hmm. That is called a bone inlay using Annie Sloan chalk paint and her glaze. So that is using the glaze right out of the can, but uh, you can also mix the glaze right. um, with the paint. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Do we have anything anyway. to paint? Look well, who we no. Should we? <laughs> I mean, we could put it on. The we could put it on here, I guess. Hey, but just to really show the color on there would be yeah. so pretty. Yeah. Do you want to do it? You want to oh. mix? All right. So this is Obison blue, mm -hmm. and the glaze, and you just need a tiny bit okay. of paint. I'm just gonna barely dip my brush because I want to see how. Oh yeah. See, look, you barely needed any to just tint that, right? Oh my gosh. But yeah, okay, let's put let's a, little a little bit, bit more. more. You know, I do everything really light. Oh, so pretty. Okay, that can is I, beautiful. Can I put Let's it on put your it light? on. Yeah. All right. Here, you do it. I'm. I'm just gonna get out of the way. <gasps> oh, look at it. Oh, it looks like water. Like right? just. And oh my gosh, glittery. it makes me want to do a painting. Yes. Okay, so you could do like a really beautiful beachscape that would be so shimmery and pretty. It's like shimmery watercolor. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. Okay, so let's put some more paint and do it a little darker. People liking these ideas. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Right? Okay, yeah. I'm just going to do a painting right here. Okay. <laughs> da -da -da. We'll be auctioning this off later. <laughs> Janet asked, could you use the Iron Orchid brayer with the glaze and stamp? Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm I sure you, you could. could. Just don't let it dry on there because then yeah, it'll be hard to get it off. Mm -hmm. Well, you could use hot soapy water. It's water cleanup, but they do say to clean it yeah. quite quickly, right? Yeah. I would. Should we try it later? We could try it later. I think we could. Yeah, I'm I sure. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Yeah. Candace, are you there? Can you answer that? <laughs> <laughs> now show people how glittery. Right? That's so beautiful. Oh, so I you can definitely tell, like, that the more paint, the less glittery. 
Right? Yeah. Yes, that that's what so, it says. Oops. And then I think you could probably go back over it later with more glaze if you wanted to get it a little sparklier. Not sparkly. I keep saying sparkle, but it's shimmer. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Annie, if you're there, just chime in and <laughs> you tell us what we're what we're missing here. Um, Ooh, I just love mixing this. <laughs> another uh, popular thing that we saw was the pearlescent glaze bottles. Um, right. Now, we have this one painted from before when Christina from the Reclaimed Heirloom came and did a video with us, and it has some texture to it. So it was painted previously in Chateau Grey, and I'm just taking the um, glaze right out of the pot and putting it on top. Um, and it, so whatever color you're using, it just adds a little bit of that of that glazed, shimmery look. Did we say shimmer? Opalescent? Luxurious? Yeah. What does she call it? <laughs> uh -huh. She said shimmer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but look at how that, can you so see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I want to do it. You really do need to see this in person. Yeah. yeah. But what a fun thing to add to your collection of crafts right. where you're doing DIY. That the pearl sun effect is outside, gorgeous. The light outside yeah. is hitting it perfectly. Oh, awesome. Good. Nice. So we hope that this has kind of given you a little um, intro to what the Annie Sloan glaze is and what it does. We do have these very handy um, yeah. pearlescent glaze fa fact sheets <laughs> that we will give you when you come to get your glaze. And it talks about all the things that we did, um, <clears throat> mixing it um, with, or just using it right on top of paint, the bone inlay and tinting it, uh, which we've done here, tinting the mm -hmm. color and some tricks and how to look after it and, and things like that. So it is for indoors. Right. Mm -hmm. It's water cleanup. Mm -hmm. You can um, put it right on top of raw chalk paint or a lacquered finish, but not on top of the waxed finish, right? right. You can get all these looks with the bone inlay. Mm -hmm. uh, you could actually, did we decide you could put it on glass on its own? You can, yeah. This morning when I was getting ready, I have the little collection of vintage bottles, and you know how they age over time, and right. I just went, oh, looks like there's Annie Sloan Glaze on there. <laughs> it's so pretty. Life according to Annie Sloan Color and Products, yeah. It's so true. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Excuse me, I will finish this off, and um, if you guys are in the neighborhood, you should come and see that. So you don't need any special tools, really. A brush, the detailed brushes that Annie has are really amazing. Um, yeah, anything else? I think we covered it. Okay, if yeah. you have any questions about glaze, please just type it in and we will get back to you on that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at these dressers that uh, um, Lori finished and it has all the detail oh, in the front. Do some pearl on it. Add the pearlescent glaze on your details mm -hmm. and just add that little, oh, like what? what what's right? that? Right? Just a shimmer. To make it special. Yeah. Um, next week. Next week. Let's upcycle some mirrors or some art with um, the Iron Orchid Designs transfers. Transfers, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to say, let's make it a competition. Because oh, no. we were like, oh, what are you going to do? Um, we can. We keep coming back to the customer who's redoing her front entryway. Um, and all these are ideas that you could add to anywhere in your home. That's so right. we are going to demo um, Iron Orchid transfers tomorrow, I think. Or not tomorrow, Friday. Friday. <laughs> You're going to do a mirror. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Some different substrates. Yeah. And hopefully show you and encourage you to try um, uh, the image transfers as well. Right. Anything else? Um, no. Okay. So we are here every Friday. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I just learned that the other day. I'm like, oh, I feel I funny know. saying that. But um, we, so, that <laughs> we so appreciate you joining us on Fridays, and we hope that you find this of value. And if you have any recommendations or anything you'd like us to see, please type it in there, and we will consider that for one of our Friday morning idea ladies. Yeah. And in the meantime, have a great day. Stay safe, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>